Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Please subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. I am going to make you a haul. I have quite a few things. It's just really random. Uh, I have a disclaimer. I'm probably not gonna smile in this video. I'm probably not gonna look like a nice person in this video. I am sick AF. I am in a bad mood AF. I'm like, like, I don't know, like, there is 90% of chances that I will cry in this video. I am so sick when you are in a good, healthy way. Please enjoy it. My throat is killing me. My nose is full of snort. I just cannot deal with it. I have a headache. I did not work out for days. I I feel like shit, okay? I feel like shit. I removed my extensions as well, so I feel bold as well. On top of everything, just great. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let's start the video. So I got a vintage Chanel bag. Uh, I have a full-on, full review kind of unboxing video. I will link it in the down bar below. So go check it out. Uh, okay, then I'm a bit pissed off because of this today, if I'm honest, like 100% honest. So I got this bag from Jacques Muse. I'm not pissed off about the size, by the way. Uh, it has also like a band in it. I did a full review on it as well. I'm just pissed off because of the quality. Like it has glue marks, it, had, it has bad stitching. And uh, yeah, I'm not returning it for the only reason that it's actually super hard to get and uh, resell it on a second-hand market as I have all the receipts, authentication stuff. I can resell it more expensive than what I bought it for. So yeah, I'm still gonna wear it a few times, obviously, but like it has creasing, it even has a hole inside. And it's from Luisa Via Roma, so I don't see why it would be fake. So yeah, I would still wear it. It looks nice, but I mean, the quality is just ridiculous. Guys, if I have an advice, like, usually I'm really against fakes, like, buy secondhand, don't buy fakes. But if you want this, get it fake, because for almost $500, this is not worth the price. Yeah. I'm obviously not gonna put it in my Vestiaire Collective or whatever second-hand website description that I'm gonna do. I'm not so stupid, you know. Uh, then, let's go into perfumes. Okay, let's do perfumes. I have gotten this. So, this is Narciso Rodriguez um, Eau de Parfum, the red one. So, this is just a small size of it. I got it because it was very cheap and I was like, why not try it? I um, hear a lot of people recommending it to me. So this is just a mask rose perfume. I feel it like it is fine. It is like sexy-ish, but also quite plain. Uh, it's a good day to nighttime signature scent if you like rose and mask together. And um, yeah, not too offensive perfumes, go for it. Uh, usually it comes like in the red one, I guess because it's so small, like, let me show you. This is 20 mils from the as long as it's to, uh, from 30 ml, it comes in a bottle like this, but with the red cup and bottle. Uh, go for the white one, it's much better than the red one, um, in my opinion. If you like rose, go for the red one, but I just think there is a big difference in quality in this one and this one. Lasting power is so-so, they are both eau de parfum, this one is just better, okay? This is just the Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. This is Narciso by Narciso, Narciso Rodriguez, red eau de parfum, yeah. Next perfume, okay guys, so I'm not gonna throw it on my bed this time because I already ordered it and I, by the way, all the links will be in the down bar below as usual. I am not gonna throw this on the bed because I already broke a bottle. So this is by Swiss Arabian. This is a good dupe. I would not say 100% dupe, but I will definitely go towards the 80% dupe of Santal Royal from Guerlain. Uh, so it smells of oud and rose, uh, it's very charismatic, it's very um, unisex, very sexy, very oriental. Um, I broke, like, when I got it, I loved it so much and I was just chilling in bed the Sunday, I had it on my bedside table and I broke a full bottle. So this is my second bottle. And yeah, usually I would throw my fragrances, my fragrances on the bed, but I will not bother with this one. So if you want to do for Santa Royale, go for this. I forgot to say the name. This is 
share, share, uh, this is Swiss Arabian, Sher Al Shayla, okay? Sher Al <laughs> Okay, then I got recommended by a subscriber when I said that uh, I love glittery lip glosses to try Essence lip glosses. So I tried this one, they're like super cheap, so just like you won't lose anything trying one, like I promise you. This is the crystal wet look. So this is to me just a sheer lip gloss. It's supposed to have like shimmers because you can see them, but once applied on the lips, it's almost like invisible. And it's just a random sheer gloss. On the other hand, the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is a lot better. This is in the color Watch Me Do. And the other one was in the color Bright Diamond. It's not bright. Okay, so this one is a lot better. I really like the applicator and it's quite sticky and I love sticky glosses. So this is the other one that is called Watch Me Do. Really like this one. Then I have this. Okay, this was sent to me is by Timmy and is the Green Tea Facial Scrub. This is a sugar scrub. I am not fan of sugar scrubs. I prefer apricot, um, apricot uh, seed uh, when they are scrambled scrubs or coconut skin scrambled scrubs. Uh, this one I'm not a fan because it just melts straight away. Uh, and uh, but if you like more gentle cleansers and you don't like the ones that proper, um, how to say, scrub your face basically. Go try this. I really like their uh, green tea mask, Ma their matcha mask. Try this. This is like a no-brainer. Go for it. Uh, the I just tried it once. So uh, look, if I put it in my favorites, you will know that I love it. If I don't, um, it smells like green tea. I really like the scent. I really like the te texture. I, I'm just like not the fan of sugar scrubs. I don't know. I just like I don't know. Not my thing. If it's your thing, go for it. Then I ordered a few things from Beauty Bay, like literally random. Random. So I got two Jouet lip glosses uh, that are a bit too extreme. I really wanted really glittery ones, but these ones are actually too extreme, as I already said. So this is a, like a coppery pink shade. It looks amazing, but it's just very extreme, as I'm telling you again. This is called Beach Days. It's going to be linked in the down bar below. This one is called Sea Glass. I'm going to put it next to it. So Beach Glaze and Sea Glass. Okay, so this one is a bit too... Yeah, I prefer this one. This one is a bit better. They, they are both quite similar. If you can see, one is just more pinky and one is more peachy. I prefer this one than this one. So then I got from the same collection. I was like, why not try Jouet stuff? This, I really like how the palette looks. It's just very aesthetical and good looking. And this is called the Cheeky Summer Duo Blush in Terracotta Sand and Hot Color, Coral. Uh, I think this that this shade would be a little bit too dark for me at the moment, although I don't know, I didn't try yet. But I really like this shade that I have today on my cheeks. Then I got the Contour Spectrum from Zoeva. Uh, I am wearing the yellow shade underneath my eyes today. I am an NC30 right now. I would recommend this palette more for um, deeper skins. Contour palettes and bronzers are the thing I go through the quickest. So I always order them from different brands just to try out. And here they, first of all, I put the Anastasia Beverly Hills in my basket, but it was sold out before the end, before, when I checked out, it was sold out, basically. So I just like grabbed this one. I was like, why not try it? Uh, by the way, tell me in the comments below if you like the Anastasia one. Is it worth it? I'll get it next. So I like the two contour, contour shades, good shades. Uh, the yellow it is a bit too dark for me. And the highlighter I used today is quite of a light to medium intensity highlighter. Okay, guys, today I feel in this mood 
like I could murder someone. Yeah. Is the least I can say. I absolutely hate being sick. Like, I hate being sick. I hate it. I really hope I'm gonna get better soon. I just want, you know, I'm at this point on YouTube now that if I don't feel, I feel guilty. So I just forced myself to put some basic beach makeup on and just sit in front of the camera and film. So yeah, I still hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry for the bad vibes that I may have or may have not given. I don't know, I have no clue. I don't know at this point. I also feel when I don't work out, I feel like shit. Also, I'm, I'm, I have so much to do and when I have stuff to do, I just go absolutely crazy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you liked it. Like, I mean, I'm not too sure if you're gonna like it, but whatever. Activate the notification bell. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys.